All right, in this video, we're going to see how to do a word problem with dimensional analysis. And you might say, you know, what's the point? I can solve this easily enough. And yes, it's true if that's all we cared about was the final answer. But the real reason for this is we're practicing the skill of dimensional analysis so that we can use it for more complicated things down the line. So here's what we're going to do. We're trying to convert something to another. So in this situation, I'm trying to figure out how many horses were needed to um, basically fix up or try to fix up the two Humpty Dumpties. So I'm trying to convert two Humpty Dumpties into horses. And I try to figure out what are all the exchange rates that are going to be required to do that. So basically we look and it says with the egg bed breaks, he splits into five pieces. So every one Humpty Dumpty is five pieces. And it says that a piece requires three Kigsmid. So one piece of Humpty Dumpty requires three Kigsmid to carry. And then only 23.3% of the soldiers have horses. So that means that for every 100 Kigsmid, you have 23.3 horses, right? This is a percentage conversion that we were doing earlier. So that should be enough to convert Humpty Dumpties to horses. So we said that there were two Humpty Dumpties. And we said for every one Humpty Dumpty, there were five pieces of him. Or, and then that for every one piece required three Kigsmid, and then the idea is that for every 100 Kigsmid, there are 23.3 horses. And if we do this out, 2 times 5 times 3 times 23.3 divided by 100, we get roughly 7 horses, which is, I guess, sort of what I was going for. So again, this is not a particularly hard problem. You could probably do this without dimensional analysis. But this is really what we're getting at, the skill and being able to practice and do a problem or converting something to something else. Um, later on in the year, it's going to get more complex. We want to have this practice pretty well. So until next time, I am Derek Tunova. Have a delightful day.